Hello everyone. So, as you know, pretty much the whole country being snowed in without power. I'm going to try to get through this here video uh, without losing power. So, we're not expecting any more snow. Hopefully not any more um, rollbacks, blackouts, whatever they want to call them. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to replant my comfrey. So, as you guys know, I've said before, they have outgrew the pots that they was in, the little um, starter pots. And number one, because we can't, it's, it's too cold for them to go out right now. So, I have to up pot them. So, this is the size pot they're in right now. This is the biggest one well the one with the most growth all of them have pretty good growth um this is the one that have the the less the least leaves so that is all of them like i said all of them are gonna get repotted and this is the middle one so they're each are at different stages. Well, I guess you could say that the same stages, but different growth. And each one is one root uh, that um, I received, one root crown cutting. So, instead of these particular containers, and I did these 116, okay? And it took them about a week, maybe two, to really uh, get the going. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to actually transfer them into these containers here. I told you about these before. These do have holes. So, and this bottom one is so I can bottom feed it. Um, yeah, so they should be able to stay in those particular containers until it's time for them to go outside, hopefully. I haven't decided on exactly where I'm going to put them at yet. I am still debating on that, um, but we'll see. And probably because it's not technically edible uh, for us, um, what I would have growing in the garden, they may go in that area that I trimmed up, uh, cleared out a couple of weeks ago. So, and they should, each, each one of them should be able to go in there with no problem and fill out. So, now that all of that is done, we're going to jump into... Repotting them. Stay tuned. So I'm going to try to do these here one at a time. I do have soil in each one. Um, so they can, you can already have soil at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just, you see the roots. I don't know if you can see the root system. So, I'm just going to kind of make a small hole into the uh, soil that I do have here. It's not a lot of, I just put a little bit. So, I'm going to personally, I don't know what this is growing on the side of it. it may, it's not telling what this is. I'm going to pull it out. It was something. Probably a seed I was starting. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip it over, over the pot. I'm going to squeeze the container to make sure. And I want to show you the root system again. So I'm just going to sit these down up in there. And and you want you don't want to be too rough with them, okay? Um, and then you're going to uh, backfill it. Just like you would do anything else. So right now I have this <laughs> propped up. So... Uh, I can actually sturdy it. So I'm just going to backfill it. And just like with the same kind of soil that I used to, to plant it, that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to do all three of them the same way. You don't want to cover the leaves up. You, you also still want to be gentle. Get 
it on all sides of it. I'm really trying not to get my hands so dirty because as I said, you know, we've been without power for a while and in some uh, areas we're without water. So we have to be very mindful <laughs> of that. So I'm just going to press down with the throw my little shovel and make sure that it's having good contact. Um, yeah, so I did not disturb the soil that it was actually in, nor did I disturb the roots. So this is where we're at. Okay. And I'm just going to do that for all three of them. And once I actually have all three of them done, I'll bring you back so you can see how they uh, look. Okay. Because I don't want to have to film me doing all three of them. I'm pretty sure you don't want to see all three of them. Hopefully you get the idea. And this is just simply transfer them up potting them just like you would do your tomatoes or anything else so we have our other one and this is like i said the biggest one and it is doing so good so i definitely don't want it to get root bound by being in this container so I'm just going to flip it gently pull around the edges so it can come out and look at those roots on this one this is the biggest one so yes those roots were starting to wrap they need breathing room and then I'm going to go ahead and backfill this one here and I'll be back so now that we have all three of them up potted, um, I'm not going to put them under the um, grow lights over here anymore. I'm actually going to put them in front of the window and let's see how that works for them. I'm pretty sure they would do fine. Um, of course, the last one did very well. So again, my phone will not stop ringing. Just a minute. Well, guys, there you got have it. Everything is potted up. Three comforts, three moringas, and my Myers lemon. Two Myers lemon. One is under the light. So that's what I did with my time today. And I have one more thing I need to pot up, and it's going to be my cactus. Not my cactus, but my aloe vera. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that notification bell if you have not, so you can always know when Love Lady Projects and More is putting out a new video. Stay safe and be blessed.